Hi, James here. I'm now going to look at how you can set up your mouth shape so that you can use the auto lip sync in Toonda. This is a great feature that will give you a great starting point for your lip sync. You can obviously do more and add some more drawings and add some more thing in. But for now, this part will be focused on actually setting up the mouth shapes. So I'm going to lock down all the layers except for the mouth since that's the only one we'll be working on. I'm going to import a sound. I'll try to make the sound available, but really you can just use any sound you're in, you find on the internet or you, whatever you want to lip sync, and this is what it sounds like. Sorry if that's a bit quiet, but that's from my speakers. The reason I added the sound now, even though we won't be lip syncing in this actual tutorial, is when you can double click on the sound, it brings up the sound element editor, and in this editor you can see the different shapes that Toon Boom associates with these letters A to G. And X is the shape that's used when there's nothing else for it to use. So like when there's sort of silence, it just sits on the X. That's like the default shape. So we're going to use this to try to create some varying shapes. So we click on this frame and click Control D for the shortcut. And you now and select X as the name, because that's going to be our default shape. You should also be able to rename by going here and going to rename drawings. Now I'm going to go to the second frame, set it to X, and I'm going to turn the onion skin on, so that when I'm on this layer, I can see the third, like what, the, what the other shapes are and sort of help me draw some of the shapes. So the first shape, I'm going to go over here and change it to a blank one. I'm going to go to the second one, which I want to be X. I'm going to copy this. I'll go back to our first frame and paste it. I'm going to edit this so that I have a very short smile. Because I find for the A, this smile is just going to be way too big. So I'm going to really shorten that up. Just sort of these bars are too long. That's why we're getting that awkward shape. And that's going to be our A shape. And even that might be too long. But that looks better. So we're going to settle with that. And we'll rename this as A. So now in our library we've got an A and an X. So I'm going to set that to blank. Now I think we'll leave this one on A. And so now we're going to, if you have a look over here, we're going to try to create a sort of B shape, and to me that's a fairly smile, like a fairly smiley face. Because all of these gestures I'm making, I'm going to try to make him fairly happy. So we will be up here. I'm going to hide this part, and we're going to use a basic box. And there we go. I accidentally pasted the smile I have previously copied. And we'll move around with our contour editor and try to get a shape that we like. The reason that you can see I've got the onion skin is I can now see where the other mouth was. And that really helps me for putting the mouth in the correct place. So we're looking for a fairly big smile here. Sort of like a Cheshire smile. I think that looks a little bit deep. It's a bit hard. And here we go. Now we're just 
throw this around. I mean, you can do whatever map shapes you want when it comes down to your character style and things like that. But I'm just doing some very basic shapes. So these are going to be done reasonably quickly. In here, I'm just going to add a couple of things which I'm going to use to give the character a bit of a smile. So as I always do when I do this sort of thing, I just convert them to brush strokes. And I'll zoom in this just a bit more. And now we're going to try to create a sort of a sharpish point. That looks good. Okay. That looks a little bit bulbous, I think. And let's say that's a little bit better. Oops. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So I'll just give him some teeth. And that's enough. You'll see, like, when you zoom out, it's really quite a nice effect on the character. Sometimes, I mean, you design these mouths really close. They look a bit awkward, but when you actually look out, you think, oh, that looks good. So that's going to be my B shape. Sure, I don't want to edit it there. I want to edit it here. That was a big mistake for me. Don't try to do that. What I did here is I actually would have been trying to select one one of the different drawings as opposed to what I should have been doing which was renaming it. So we now have B, main and X. I might change this to B now. If you go up here and have a look, the next shape we're going to be trying to do is C. Now I'll do the C shape and I'll pick that up in the next part. So see you in the next part.